Hi. Okay, so I just wanted to create a little video to show you how I am adding up points that make it super fast and super efficient and um, just way easier for so if you ever host a group with me this is how I do it so going forward this is gonna be something we do on a Saturday and we do it from Monday to Saturday or Monday sorry from Monday through Saturday does that mean Sunday never gets in it Sunday through Friday Sunday no then Saturday never gets in it I'm trying to think of how that would work because so I like to do standings on a Sunday standing Sunday it has a good so it's just Monday through Saturday basically because usually rest days are on Sunday anyway yeah so Monday through Saturday I'm sorry that was confusing okay so I'm going to share my screen mm, right here okay I'm going to pull up so this is my 80 days till summer that's the group that I'm hosting it about and I'm going to make a um a thing that says week one standings. Now I'm going to go over to my challenge group tracker and I'm going to go to 80 days till summer. And I'm going to go to um, participants. And I'm going to hit this right here so that it goes in alphabetical order via last name. Doesn't really matter what it says. When you take it, you can only, oh wow, we actually get them all in one page. Well, that's exciting. This is actually not gonna take very long at all. I put those right here. So then I just, you have to move over the one because it's silly. So I'm just, this is just a Google Doc, so no big deal. Um, how do I do this in all the things? Just wanna make sure I do it the same. Yeah, okay. So then I'm going to just delete this row because I don't need view. Whoa, what is this? Oh, I put that in way high. Okay, I'm gonna delete these rows. Okay, so and then I'm gonna put a row in here. Insert. So you're gonna do this for every week. So you'll have week one, week two. So if you are the Saturday person calculating points, then your job is to calculate them either Sunday morning or Saturday late night, but you kind of want to get people all of people's things. So then you have social media and you have challenge posts and then you have total. So you would set this up. So you're going to take this times five and then you're going to take this times five um, and then it doesn't matter that they didn't do any and you're going to do that. So now you have, um, those are, you can see how many points everybody has. Then this is, so if they, if they tag you on social media, so I know, for example, she tagged me one time. So you can just put that in there. I'll go over challenge posts in a minute. Then you're just going to take these numbers. So the total and the total, total equals. So she has 15 points. Then you just pull that down. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, if you're a little bit savvy with Google or with Excel, it's the exact same thing. So now when you're calculating challenge points, so it is your job to calculate challenge points for the challenges that you post. So what I personally do, um, 80 days till summer, I kept track of who did my challenge post on the day that I posted it. So I know in the last week, and I can go over here to the schedule, in the last week I posted one challenge post on Friday. And I already kept track because when I did the, um, when I did my check-in, check when I go through and I make sure I have everybody, um, or when I, you know, go back in and check in with all the posts, I just keep track on my day. It just is makes it makes it easier that you now know. So then I can go into, I could have gone to the spreadsheet if it would have been created and just put it. So let's say for example, um, what I simply do is just when I'm checking in at, for my post day, I just wrote down who, who's, um, who participated sorry that was such a hard word and then I just put it in so um, I've got uh, oh shoot I actually didn't because I didn't oh hold on so that's good then you can 
I can show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to go to my posts, not all coach posts. I'm going to go to my posts and I'm going to go find my Friday challenge post right there. <laughs> Only one person participated. So I can then go back over to my 80 days till summer and it was Jenny. Um, Rebecca, and I can put five in there and that's it. So now if I am the standings, which I am, I am tomorrow based on this sheet, right? Tomorrow, Sunday. Yep. I'm going to calculate who is the winner. So I usually just sort it by this right here. Um, and actually do it again. Z to A. There we go. So I can then hide all of these. Oops. Why is this being silly? My mouse is being silly. Hide columns D through. So then I can then take this and I could say, um, you know what, because this is such a small um, group, I'm just gonna put everybody's standings up there because I think then it'll give them a little bit of, um, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna, sh you're gonna just send that to yourself and keep track of everybody's points. And then you're gonna make, we're gonna, I'm gonna create a, a, for the love, actually I think I'm just gonna use the same one we're using for, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the exact same picture that we're using for the main, 80 day because it's pineapples and that's totally summary. So I'm just going to delete um, here. Let me show you what I'm doing. New share. It's really not, you can send this to yourself however you prefer. I'm just showing you how I'm sending it to myself so that you can see. And then if your person wins, so like for example, um, you need to keep track. You need to put in your social media and you know that you need to put in your social media by, I think we should have a cutoff by Sunday. I think that we should do this on Sunday, to be honest. Um, we'll just, for the sake of this lesson, we'll just do it through Saturday today. But I imagine people are going to have more check-ins. Um, so but we'll just do it this way. But then you, your job is to put in your pers your people's social media posts. If they tag you. And then when I post these tomorrow, I'm going to remind everyone how they get points because a lot of people are going to be like, how come I didn't get any points or how come I'm only blah, blah, blah. Well, to be honest, I'm actually a little concerned as to the, the amount of people who have completed these posts. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to send that to myself. I'm going to create an image and then I'm going to upload it into, you know, the, um, the thing. I'm going to stop share and that's all you do. So let's say you are the person for next week on Sunday morning. So for example, Sunday morning to next is Ashley. Ashley is going to do the exact same thing I just did, and she's going to create a new tab, and it's going to say week two standings, and then she's going to copy and paste everything, and um, so your job is to keep track of those points um, and make sure you get them in by Sunday morning, and make sure you get your, your social media in by Sunday morning so that there is no question. So like I can go back here. This is week. 10, um, this is just our 80, this is our big group. So I'm just gonna do week 10. Um, I'm not gonna put those in yet because um, I don't even know who it is. We've been doing this a little bit different so um, in our group, but it looks like, oh, lucky me, I am the standings for this as well. Um, so we'll see, I may make it for both, but. I just wanted to show you and let you see everything. Um, please ask questions if that didn't make sense. I believe it did, but if it didn't, I am here to help. Okay, see you later.